Good morning and welcome to Tesla Northwest and EVs. I just got the latest version of FSD Beta 11.3.3. So let's take it for a drive to Harold's Market and see how it does. First impression run, just got the download. All right, hey folks, welcome to Tesla Northwest and EVs. I'm glad you joined me on the flip side here. We can see we've got the latest version of FSD Beta 11.3.3, and I will put some uh, uh, release notes at the end of this video. So what are we gonna do? Well, we are gonna try our Herald's Market run. So it's a six, about seven mile run, 11 minutes, and there's a lot of different complicated things involved. So we are gonna try out FSD beta and the first thing we should see is if it'll get us out of our driveway Oop. so let's see if we get the wheel FSD is engaged and we are leaving our driveway so let's see how the car does now it wants to make air no no that's not the right way car okay I took over <laughs> maybe it's still a little bit too uh, a little bit too uh, early to let it get out of its driveway so what happened so I get this autopilot disengaged, what happened? Press voice button. Uh, the, car was attempt the car was attempting to navigate and uh, was taking the wrong turn, so I overcame, I overtook it. Okay, so there we go. I just sent that into headquarters. We turned off cruise control and I shouldn't have tried to maybe have it leave my driveway. That was maybe a little too ambitious. We've got the wheel, we're engaged, okay. We're going to go full screen. Now, the updates and improvements that they've made, well, I'm going to have to play with this to find out all of them, but uh, obviously the big one is autopilot has gone away and full self-driving is now in charge on highways. So uh, be on the lookout. I'll be getting you some footage of highway FSD driving here in the next few days. Uh, but I obviously only got so much time in the day. <laughs> All right, here's our first left-hand turn and a four-way stop. Okay, nice. All right, very well done. For these of you familiar, for those of you familiar with my channel, you'll know this is a normal uh, test run for FSD that we're gonna give it. So there are some twists and turns, there's shadowing, uh, sunlight that messes with the cameras there's a couple weird left turns and right turns so it should overall be a pretty good drive i went to bed last night and i saw the update so i had the car downloaded while i was sleeping that was about 11 o'clock pacific time last night and woke up and here it is and it sounds like this might be the wide release oh very nice it had a really hard time with that in the past it would slow down and kind of hesitate wow okay Oh, yep, this is very nicely done too. Maybe a little more of a pinch than needed, but not bad. Uh, so some of the updates with this version. Uh, the car will scooch uh, in its lane, so it'll move around in its lane to avoid lard large lard. <laughs> to avoid large obstacles. Uh, it's better at detecting um, vehicles coming at it and leaving it. Uh, just a ton of stuff and I like I said this is my first impression I've intentionally not watched other uh, youtubers because I wanted to see how it felt and uh, I need to sit down and read the release notes word for word but overall so far it's feeling really good nicely done I'm going to be taking a, a EV Safari, so be on the lookout for that. I think I'm going to do that Tuesday. So I'm going to go head up and check out all the different dealerships, see who has what on their lots as far as electric vehicles go, how much they've been marked up, etc., uh, etc. Et I'll be doing that uh, here Tuesday. So join me for that if you would. Hit that like and subscribe. Whoa, that was weird. That was weird. Hit that like and subscribe. We're gonna be doing lots of FSD beta testing as we got this new version, so. Very cool, you already got to see uh, voice notes, so we used that, it's <laughs> a little early, so my mouth, uh, my words were a little jumbled, but I think they'll get the idea. And we tried to let Amos take us out of the driveway, and that 
was a little confusing for him. He was going to try and take the wrong turn. So, so far, only disengagement we had was leaving the driveway, and I don't think that really counts. Eventually it will, but so far, so good. Okay, we'll boost our speed just a little bit. Nicely, nice, so nice so far, but I guess it's not super challenging. We've got a, a right-hand turn coming up here. We'll see how it behaves. And then uh, we've got a weird left uh, merge type of thing that the car needs to do on a dog leg. New visuals, let's see how those look as we approach the stop sign. I like the arrow, you can see it's got chevrons in it. And then we can see where the car is planning on creeping to. And very nicely done, oh wow. Very confident. That felt just like a person. All right, this is gonna be a lot of fun to test, folks. I hope you join me for all these different videos. We're gonna to head to Harold's Market here. This is a quick little video, right? Just a first impression to see how it does on our test run. Uh, and then we'll shoot one uh, going home and we'll go home uh, Highway 20 through Anacortes. So we'll have some roundabouts and some left-hand turns and some lights and interacting with a little more traffic. Because it is a Sunday, so it's kind of quiet. I'm gonna turn our speed down a little bit. Very nice, immediately responsive and again, Part of this update was also the NHTSA recall. And that recall said that the cars needed to slow down faster when commanded, and it did that beautifully. All right, we're approaching our left-hand kind of Y up here, so let's see how the car does. We can see that Toyota in front of us making it. And so now it'll be our turn. This always gives the car problems. Let's see how bad of an uh, issue it is today with version 11.3.3. Okay, we're slowing down. Nothing happening. Oh, wow! Damn it, folks! Wow. That was amazing! It has never done it that nice. <laughs> wow! Okay, a little hot into the stop sign. Like that, stopping for stop sign. Very cool. Seems like the wheel mag is a little more persistent than normal. Make sure nobody's coming from behind. This is a bad blind spot. Good car. Nicely done. Right, we're gonna goose our speed back up. Wow, you can tell I was surprised. It, it didn't seem like it was gonna be able to accomplish that. And then it just managed it right at the last minute and it did it really well. Okay, we're gonna come up here and it's gonna have some sun in its eyes. And then we're gonna need to make a right-hand turn in just a few minutes onto a very busy state route, State Route 20 going to Woodby Island. I can see what the other YouTubers are grousing about. This is really impressive. Sun right in its eyes, really hard to see. No hesitation whatsoever. Oh, wonderfully well done. Pretty view of Lake Campbell. This is just lovely. Okay, now it doesn't need a stop for a stop sign, so that was weird. Tesla Vision still got to work on it a little bit. I mean, we got to get it some bifocals. Okay, we're going to have the sun right in its eyes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So far, so good. It's slowing down a little bit. And that seems appropriate, right? You'd slow down too if you had the sun in your eyes. I still can't get over how well it did that. Why? Damn. <laughs> this seems perfectly natural to me. So we're going out five under. Um, the sun is like right in its eyes. And now it's got a little bit better vision and it's speeding up. So that seems very normal and natural. I, I'm going to have so much fun with this. Damn, this is really, really doing a good job. We'll see how well it does taking us home. Um, that'll be a separate video, right? So uh, I'm gonna try and put these out, uh, you know, one a day or two a day. So be on the lookout for the second video going home, probably tomorrow or tonight. Oh, damn it! Blinding light. Car's managing it just fine. Oh yeah. 
awesome. Okay, we're coming up here to our uh, right hand turn. Okay, a little bit phantom braking, unnecessary. All right, well, must have got a little sun blind. Speaking of sun, I should put my sunglasses on. All right, so we are about to come up to our right hand turn. This is a busy piece of traffic. Oh, wow. Car did good there too. It got sun blinded again. It, it slowed down, but did not slam on the brakes like it would have in the past. Maybe going through here a little bit slower than what would be natural, but I, I can give it a, a pass. Okay, we're gonna approach our right hand turn. Needs to make sure it makes the right lane selection. It is. Braked a little hard back there, but it's pulling forward nicely now. Well, if it was me, I'd probably be pulled forward a little more, but I guess it can see okay. And... Okay, I wish it would really get after it. Like, this is not a place where you want to go slow. That behavior is similar to behavior I've seen in the past, so it would be nice if it would get after it a little bit. I need to check to see what it's set at in the FSD settings. Um, if it's on assertive or chill. So let's actually check that right now. So if we go into autopilot, and we can see we're in assertive, so that's good. Okay, handled that well, didn't get freaked out by that car. Definitely uh, wheel nags often, quite often. And I have the screen in dark mode. I hope I didn't ruin the, the trip. <laughs> okay, we're just about there. Zero intervention drive. Fantastic first impression drive. Managed our Y beautifully. Took all of our turns uh, just as it should. So I'm going to say, yeah, 11.3.3, big improvement over 69.25.2. Very big improvement. So we're going to pull in here, get some lottery tickets, and then we're going to head home and try it out on that. So thanks for joining me, folks. Look for that next video, and I'll see you on the flip side. Oh, look at this. It's even getting me into the lane. And I'm going to make the turn. Very, very cool. All right, folks. Thanks a lot. See you in a bit. We're going to go for a drive. All right.